Hi there. Welcome to the Sadler's Wells Take Part Digital Workshop Series. My name is Sita Patel, and today I'll be leading you through a 30-minute workshop looking at the Indian classical dance style of Bharatanatyam. This workshop is aimed at people aged 60 plus. However, anyone in your household can take part. Before we start, let's just go through a few things. Firstly, make sure the space you're working in is safe to move around in. Check for things like vases, pets, or any other bits and bobs. Secondly, make sure that the surface you're working on is safe. Today, we'll be working with no shoes and socks. Thirdly, keep a chair and a drink of water nearby, just in case you need a little rest. Bharatanatyam has some foot stamping, but today we won't be stamping hard, so please do listen to your body and make sure you lift and place lightly. This is for two reasons, health and safety, but also not to disturb those around us, especially if, like me, you live above somebody else. This workshop can be done seated or standing, so do listen to your body and make sure you're nice and comfortable with everything that we're doing. And finally, this workshop isn't live, it's recorded, and that means that you can stop and rewind and repeat anything you want or revisit it later on. So without further ado, let's get dancing. Let's start with a little warm up to get the body ready. Keep your feet parallel and hip width apart. And we're just gonna do some easy neck rolls to wake up the upper back and the neck. Three, and then four, and then going the other way. One, two, make sure you're breathing, and four. Just coming back to upright. Now we're going to do some backwards shoulder rolls. Two, breathing, three, and four. And going the other way, backwards, and two, and three, all the way around, four. We're going to do some big arm circles, so take a big scoop up, and push down and up open the chest and down breathing deeply and down last one and down lovely now let's just take the feet slightly further apart turning them out keep soft on the knees and we're just going to do gentle twists gentle twists to wake up the sides of the body. You can put your hands on your rib cage just to give it a little support. Taking deep breaths, nice solid base. Good. Now we're just going to extend the arms diagonally upwards from here. Use the eyes to focus. Breathing deeply, shoulders down, belly button strong. Good. And then we're just going to swing the arms back and forth, bringing your feet back into a parallel position, hip width apart. Just nice heavy swings, just to loosen up the shoulders. Lovely. Now we're going to do a few plies to get the knees ready. So keep the thick feet parallel and hip width apart. And we're just going to go bending down, bringing the arms up to the side and coming up to standing. Squeeze the legs and down. Make sure you're breathing and standing. Squeeze the armpits. Three and standing and four, and standing. Good, now we'll turn out, bring your feet in a V shape, squeeze the inner legs together, and we're gonna bring the arms in front this time. So we're gonna go down with the arms in front, and press the arms down. 
arms in front, breathing, press the arms, squeeze the legs. This is three, and press the legs together, last one, four, and legs together. We're going to step wide, still keeping the feet turned out. This time we're going to take the arms in a big V above our heads as we bend the legs. So we go breathing, arms up, legs bent, and squeeze down. Two, and squeeze. Three, and squeeze. Four, and squeeze. We're going to stay with the legs wide, we're going to bend. We're just going to take one arm over, resting this other hand on the leg and then the same on the other side. And then we're gonna stretch the legs and bring the arms up and we go again. One arm over, stretching the side and then the other side. Two arms up and breathe. Last time, arm goes over and over and stretch. Good, let's shake out the legs, shake out the hands, give the little rub to the thighs and the knees and the lower back. We're going to take one foot forward and one back, keep the tummy nice and strong. If you want to hold on to a chair, you can at this point. We're going to do eight presses. One and two and three. Keep breathing. Four, keep the stomach strong, five, and six, and seven, and eight. Lovely. Let's do the other side. And one, and two, and three, and four, five, six, breathing, seven, and eight. Good. Let's shake out the body. Now, some of the sections of Bharatanatyam that we'll try today have got foot stamping. But as I said earlier, we won't be stamping hard. We'll be lifting and placing. So let's just start with some warm-up exercises of lifting the legs and kicking your bum behind you, just like this. Good. Let's take a count of eight and one, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Good. Shake out the legs. Now we're going to lift the legs to the side. Ready, and up, and two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, and eight. Good. Let's shake out the legs. Shake out the body, <laughs> take one big stretch up and forward, soften the knees, rolling up the spine. Bharatanatyam has two different parts to it, a pure dance part, which is abstract movements of the body, and an expressive part, which is about storytelling through facial expressions, hand gestures and poetry. Right now, I'll be teaching you a little bit of the abstract part. Foot stamping is a key component of Bharatanatyam. But today, we won't be lifting and stamping to make a sound. We'll be lifting and placing very gently. Bharatanatyam uses footwork that uses different parts of the foot. From the whole foot, when we stamp it down, it makes a loud sound. When you hit or gently beat the heel, it makes a softer sound. And a very bass sound comes from the ball of the foot. So, I'll be showing you a little section of movement with the legs that uses the whole foot, the heel, and the ball of the foot. Right, let's start with the legs together, feet and legs in parallel. You can keep the hands on the waist with the elbows to the side just to give you a nice sense of your centre. We're just going to start by lifting and placing the foot 
right on the spot with the feet together every time. Try and lift and hit your bum, just like this. Good, let's do that four times. One, two, three, four. Excellent. Now we will open the feet to a V shape and sit down into our demi plie. In Bharatanatyam, this is called Aramandi. Good, let's shake out the legs. Let's try that again. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Turning out, sitting down. Lovely. The next part I'll show you is stamping, or rather lifting and placing gently in this case, but in our demi-plie or aramandi position. You have to lift the foot to hit the bum underneath you if you can and gently place it. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and then we can shake out our legs. So let's turn out the feet, sit in our demi plie, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Lovely. Let's shake out the legs. This time, let's put the standing stamping and the aramandi stamping together. So we'll start with the feet together in a standing position. And it will go one, two, three, four, turning out, sitting down. And one, two, three, four. Lovely, let's shake out the legs. So this has been stamping the whole foot. Next, we will go to stamping the heel. Again, you want to lift and place it gently. You don't want to bang it. We do this from an aramandi position. We lift and place with the toes pointing up and we lift and bring it back to the center. Lift and place, lift and back. So out and in, out and in. Again, out and in and out and in. Lovely, let's shake out the legs. Give the legs and knees a little rub. Let's join the standing stamping, the aramandi stamping on the whole foot and the out and in together. Remember, I'm going through this quite quickly because it's a short workshop, but you can stop and rewind at any point. So let's start with the feet together. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, turning out, sitting down, and one, two, three, four, and out. In, out, in, out, in, out, in. Lovely. Let's shake out. Let's do all of that again. So we start with the feet together. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Turning out, sitting down. One, two, three, four. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Lovely. Let's shake out the legs. Give the knees a little rub. Give the thighs a little rub. Lastly, I'm going to show you how to use the ball of the foot. Again, we do this in the aramandi or demi-plie position. This time, we're going to lift and place the ball of the foot behind the other foot. So it will look like this. Lift behind, lift together. Lift behind, lift together. Behind, lift together, lift behind, lift together. 
let's shake out the legs. Let's try and do all of those things together. I'll talk you through it once. Feet together, we'll go one, two, three, four, turning out, sitting down. One, two, three, four, then out and in, two and in, three and in, four and in. Back together, back together, back together, back together. It's quite a lot to do, but remember you can always stop, take a break and then start again and try again. Ready? Let's do it together. Hands on the waist to keep firm on your center. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. Turning out, sitting down. One, two, three, four. Out and in, out and in, out and in, out and in. Back together, back together, back together, back together. Lovely. Let's shake out. Big stretch up, stretch forward, bend the legs, stretch the legs. Bend and rolling up. Give the back a little rub, little tap. Thighs a little tap and knees a little rub. Please feel free to go back and try that again as many times as you like, but do listen to your body just in case you feel any strain or pain. Now we've tried some of the leg positions and the footwork, I'm going to show you some of the hand gestures in Bharatanatyam. We have hand gestures that we do on individual hands. They are the single hand gestures. I'm going to show you some of those today. I'd like you to follow my hand gesture by looking at the video and try and say the name of it after I say it. For example, I'll say Pataka and you can copy me and say Pataka and we'll continue like that. So find a nice comfortable place to sit. I'm sitting on the floor right now but it's fine for you to do this in a chair. Sitting nice and tall, keeping the shoulders down and make sure you're breathing nice and deeply. Let's start. Pataka Pataka Tripetako, tripetako, arda pataka, arda pataka, kartari mukaha, kartari mukaha, mayurasyo, mayurasyo, arda chandrascha. Arda Chandrascha Arala Arala Shukatundakaha Shukatundakaha Muschischa Muschischa Shikarakascha Shikarakascha Kapita Kapita Kataka Mukaha Kataka Mukaha Suchi Suchi Chandra Kala Chandra Kala Padma Kosha Padma Kosha Sarpashirastata Sarpashirastata Mrigashirsha Mrigashirsha Simha Mukaha Simha Mukaha Langulascha Langulascha 
Ala pad makaha. Ala pad makaha. Chaturo. Chaturo. Brahmaras chaiva. Brahmaras chaiva. Hamsasyo. Hamsasyo. Hamsa pakshakaha. Hamsa pakshakaha. Samdam sho. Samdam sho. Mukulas chaiva. Mukulas chaiva. Tamra chura. Tamra chura. Trishulakaha, Trishulakaha. Those are all of the single hand gestures. Remember, I've gone through them quite quickly because it's a short workshop, but you can stop and rewind and try them as many times as you like until you get them right. Another detail in Bharatanatyam is the use of the eyes. Today, we're just gonna do some simple eye exercises. Remember, if your eyes get tired, feel free to stop and pause the video and start whenever you're comfortable. So let's just start by holding the eyes nice and wide. They don't need to be pulled, just gently. And we're just going to look up and down, up and down, keeping the head very still and down, up and down. Let's take a little blink, so close your eyes tight and open, close and open. We're gonna do the same, but side to side. So take it to one extreme and then the other. One and then the other. One, last time, one side, then the other. Lovely, let's blink again. Make sure the eyes don't get dry. This time, we're gonna do a big circle. So we're gonna go up, side, down, side, up, and then the other way. Up, side, down, side, up, and then a little blink. Let's try that again. Up, side, down, side, up, and up, side, down, side, up. Let's give ourselves a little blink. Let's just do some big wide opening of the face. And nice and small and squeeze the face tight. And big and small. Good. Just give the face a little tap just to get the blood flowing all along the chin and the neck, around the eyes, nice and firmly, just to get the blood flowing. Now we've warmed up the face a little bit. Let's try a few facial expressions. I'm going to call out some expressions and I'm going to do them and I'd like you to copy or try your own visualization and follow me. So let's start with laughter. Pity. Fear. <sighs> Disgust. Pride. Love. A 
and finally, peaceful. These are some of the base expressions and we can tell many stories using them. I'm now going to show you a small poem that we learned in Bharatanatyam. It's about the elephant-headed god Ganesha. This deity in Hindu mythology is considered as one who removes all obstacles and difficulties. He is said to ride a mouse and he carries his favourite sweets in his hands. He has wonderful flapping ears and a majestic trunk. Across his chest he wears the sacred thread. He is small of stature and Shiva is his father. He removes all obstacles and it is to him we bow. Let's try this together bit by bit. Mushika Vahana Modaka Hasta Chamara Karana Vilambita Sutra Vamana Rupa Maheshwara Putra Vigna Vinashaka Pada Namaste. You can always stop and rewind this video and try this bit by bit, but let's try once more together. Mushika Vahana Modaka Hasta Chamara Karana Vilambita Sutra Vamana Rupa Maheshwara Putra Vigna Vinashaka Pada Namaste I hope you've enjoyed today's workshop and remember, always keep dancing. If you've enjoyed this workshop, please do comment below. And if you're feeling extra creative, why don't you take the chance to video yourself doing a little poem with some hand gestures and facial expressions. We'd love to see what you've come up with. Thanks, bye.